Hello students. Now in this video, we'll discuss about the basics of integers. Before solving the chapters, integer of class seven, we'll discuss the basics of integers. So now, first of all, we'll discuss. First of all, we'll follow word mass. We all know word mass. Bracket of divide, multiply, addition, and subtraction. Then second. There might come some questions in which there are plus two and minus three. In these types of questions, will subtract the numbers means if one sign is positive and another sign is negative means plus and minus. Then first of all, will subtract the numbers means will minus three minus two and then. We'll put the sign of the greatest number. The greatest number is here is three, and the sign in front of three is minus. So it will be minus one. Some more examples. Let's take three minus two and four minus nine. So in three minus two, we'll subtract three minus two, and the sign of the greatest number means the sign of greatest number here. The greatest number is three, and the sign is positive. So it will be plus means the answer will be one. And here we'll again subtract the numbers means nine minus four, and we'll put the sign of the greatest number. Greatest number is nine, and the sign is negative. So the answer will be minus five. Now for multiply, if there is multiplication, then for example minus two into minus three, minus two into plus three. Plus two into minus three. So these three. Now, in these type of questions where there are signs and there is multiplication, then the thing that will be do is first we multiply the numbers. First we think that it is normal and we multiply these numbers. That will be three two times is six. Then if there is minus, it multiplied with minus. It will give plus. Now. In the second part, we'll multiply these two numbers first of all. That will give us six. If there is minus multiplied with plus, it will always give minus. And in the third part, we'll multiply these numbers. That will be six. And if it's plus multiplied with minus, that will again give it minus. So, and the fourth is two multiplied with three. And we all know that is will be plus. That will be plus. So first of all, we we'll write six and plus multiplied with plus. Is plus. So these are the things. Now the fourth one is if there is minus two minus three. So in this question, if there is minus and minus, then minus minus gives us plus, but the sign that will come is minus. So that will become two plus three, and that will be minus five. Now reason why this comes is. I told you this multiplication. Now I am solving it, this fourth question here. Now, if we take minus as common, now how to take common? Supposingly, I take minus as common, and now remains the normal things here. So, if we take something common outside, then if we multiply that thing inside the bracket, that will give us this. So, what I am saying is, if we write this as two plus. Three inside the bracket, so it will be plus two, and that will be plus three. So what I told you, we're multiplying minus. If we're taking minus common outside, it means minus one simply. So we'll write it as we'll multiply minus one with two. We all know. So first of all, we'll multiply two with one. I told you here that will be two, and minus multiplied with plus is minus. That will be minus two. Now for this one. Three multiplied with one is three, and plus multiplied with minus is again minus. So it gives us the same thing. So this is how to take common. Now the last one is the number line. So basically, a number line is a normal line in which we mark the numbers from zero, one, two, up to infinity, and similar on the left hand side minus one, minus two, and minus three. Up to minus infinity. So, if we want to add something to the number line, then we'll move to 
राइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टू एड विल मूव टू राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी आर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू वन प्लस टू सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू दिस थिंग देन विल मार्क फर्स्ट पॉइंट एज वन एंड देन वी हैव टू एड टू इन दिस सो विल एड इट टू द राइट हैंड साइड मीन मीन्स विल मूव वन साइड हेयर मीन्स वन एंड देन टू एंड नाउ वी कैलकुलेट द आंसर फ्रॉम जीरो बिकॉज जीरो इज द बेस्ट वैल्यू सो द आंसर विल बी थ्री B to subtract on a number line will move to left. Now, for example, one minus two. So one is here. I told you if we are subtracting, we move on the left hand side. Means left is this side. So we'll move two side back. One and two. I told you that zero is the base value. So we reach minus one. So minus one is the answer now see these we are talking about the positive quantities now if you want to add a negative quantity add negative quantity now to add negative quantity we will move to left for example same this we can write this as 1 plus minus 2 so we are adding negative quantity so we will again move to the left so one then we'll move two shifts back one and two again we'll get minus one and the d part i'm writing here in the d part if we add if we subtract a negative quantity then we'll move right why right supposingly i said we subtract some negative quantity so without seeing the number line how we can solve this we are multiplying minus with minus and i told you multiplying minus with minus gives us plus so that will be plus 2 that will give us 3 now if we are subtracting minus 2 then i am saying we move to the right hand side this is one now we are subtracting minus 2 so we will move on the right hand side and that will give us one shift and two shift that will again give us three so these are the some basics of integers through which we will be solving the question present in your exercise i hope you understood these all things and if you don't once again you should go with these thank you